I'm your host, Sean McKenzie. Thank you for joining me once again on my channel on Data Engineering. In this episode, we're going back to our Microsoft Access playlist. We're going to take a look at how to use the replace function, which is a great little function for uh, taking a string and replacing some or one or more of the characters uh, in it so that you can change it to whatever you need to. So in the case that we're going to do today, we're going to have a string that has the word circles in it and we're going to replace it with the word squares or triangles. Without further ado, let's get to our replace function in Microsoft Access. Looking for additional resources for your project? Make sure to check out the additional links in the description. Okay, so quite a uh, fun little topic today. Uh, we'll be doing the replace function and we're using this candy table here that uh, uh, we've used for a few other examples. You can see we've got chocolate here, we've got some uh, gum circles, red and spicy, uh, you know, dark chocolate, and uh, some other items with some prices. Very, very simple. Um, and what we'll do is uh, we're going to uh, first create a query and we'll go to the create ribbon and we'll, we'll select uh, query design and I'm going to grab that uh, candy table and then say add and then close. Um, you can also you can just drag it off from here you can you don't have to use the pop-up that comes up there. Um, but here's our candy table inside of the query and I'm just going to grab you know the candy type the candy name and the candy price um, say we want to have a query, but it does not use the ID field. Um, but we want to add an alternate type because say in another part of the business, um, they don't refer to uh, gum circles as gum circles. They refer to that as a type uh, gum triangles. So kind of a silly, <laughs> silly example here, but you get the idea. This happens all the time. Uh, with databases where people, there might be alternate contexts and things like that. And so what we're going to do is we're going to use the replace function here. And you can see I've used, I've added the name uh, alt uh, type and then I used replace. And then I'm going to say after, as the second and third arguments there, um, I'm going to put in uh, what I want to replace and then what I want to replace it with. So I'll save this query. I'll, I, I'll do a control S here and save it. I put a name on it. And now what I can do is I can go up to my uh, uh, data sheet view and you can see here's the original field. Uh, but when, when the, uh, uh, the query sort of ran into the, the word circles, um, it changed it to triangles in the alt type here which is exactly what we want to see. And you can use this function just like we did here and and you can change, you know, a string in your database, you can remove dashes and replace them with dots and or, or all kinds of different things which are very very common things that happen. So the, the next example I'll do is for a form and I'm going to um, uh, use the form wizard. I chose the candy uh, table again and I chose the fields there and I'm going to save it. I'm just going to call it the candy alt form and uh, from there what we can do is uh, I'll just click on it to open up. So this is the default output of the uh, of the wizard and you can see it's got um, you know the same data that we saw in the table but now we can scroll through it in a columnar form uh, which is a, a nice way of displaying it. But say we want to have the alternate type in the field to the right there. Say we wanted to add a field. So we'll go to the design view and I'll close the navigation pane and I'll just grab a control here, I'll grab a text box and I'm just going to drop it um, just to the right of that candy type field. And I'll do a little bit of formatting here and uh, just to, to put that in the right spot and uh, we'll give that a bit more room. We'll just call this uh, alt type and uh, I can't type here. Um, there we go. So we'll do 
<clears throat> alt type and then I'll expand this uh, field here. So now you can see, uh, say this was a form and you had to display it, display some text a certain way, then what you can do is uh, you can use the replace function for that. So I'll go to the other tab in the properties. I'm just going to give it a name txt alt type uh, in the other tab and then I'll go to the data tab and I can type in our replace function and I'll say uh, equals replace and then we're going to put the name of the field that we're going to evaluate on each record and we'll put the find uh, circles in for find and then we'll put in say this time we'll put in squares for replace and so now what it's going to do is any any uh, um, circles that it finds in the data in that one field the candy type field this alt type field is going to replace that with squares and if it doesn't find it it's just going to give you the same uh, the same uh, entry as the candy type field and so you'll notice the the equal sign on it um, make sure that you put the equal sign on um, that's a little different from using it in the query and now when we open it and there we go we can see our uh, gum circles has been changed to gum squares and uh, and that will be the same as we scroll through the record set uh, so now we didn't do this in the query itself you can tell that we actually did this uh, display in the form itself in the form so um, that's a very important distinction and it works the same way for reports um, as it does for forms so we can scroll through you can see um, all the other entries match the candy type entry except for the cases where it has the word circles in it and so this is a very simple way of doing a replace um, and that's how you can do it on a form now what if we wanted to use this in <clears throat> in code well I can pull up a, a code window here and what I'll do here is I'll do a control G uh, which will bring up the uh, immediate window uh, you can see here I've got uh, uh, the immediate window which is a place where you can you know execute commands um, and uh, get some some information back and you can test out functions and things like that so what I'll do is <clears throat> I'm going to use the uh, question mark and then I'll use replace just as we talked about earlier and uh, I'll do a replace and then inside ABC123 I want to replace ABC with DEF and when I hit enter after um, asking for that function result uh, you can see that it's returned DEF123 uh, which is what we wanted to see and if I actually put in more than one instance of ABC123 um, <clears throat> you can see if I hit enter on that one you can see it changes both of those and so some languages you only change the first one some you know uh, or you know those kind of things like so in access um, it will change um, all of them um, so from there one sort of like really obvious thing I want to show you guys is how to use this manually uh, because a lot of people don't seem to know this for some reason uh, but if you've got a huge table and you want to just change I mean you can use an update query uh, but the fastest way is just to use your control H and uh, put in the uh, text you want to change and then put it in replace with and then in the look pardon me in the uh, look in field uh, you'll you'll or pardon me in the match uh, field here you'll choose any part of field and so if you use that uh, manually you can very quickly change a data set to remove a word from a field or something like that or to change some punctuation it's really fast to use that uh, that uh, control H so make sure you, you uh, learn that one want to join me behind the scenes make sure to check out my patreon the link is in the description have a great day have a safe day and I'll catch you next time